Welcome to Discretion Advised. I'm John Hill here with Mark McNamara. Before we start off, before we launch into this episode, which is uh, the theme of today's episode is fear, fears, horrifying, scariness. <sighs> Let's just acknowledge the big stoned elephant in the room. Mark, uh, not to speak Present. for you, Mark is... Please uh, do. Per- Mark, you know, one of my greatest fears is doing a show with someone who is stoned. And Mark, you're helping me confront that fear today by smoking a, a fat joint. You're holding a blunt or whatever that is in your fingers and you're smoking a blunt. It. What are you for? It's just a joint. What is the difference? I don't know. <laughs> no, a blunt's like wrapped in tobacco, which I don't do. Or is that a split? I don't know. I'm okay. For. Here's the thing. Tamara Judge, who's on the show today, she has a CBD line and I think there's THC gummies and shit, Vena. So in honor of Tamara, I decided let's have a little experiment. Let me just light up a joint and see how this goes because I'm never high at work. And, you know, it's a little experiment. Why not? Take the journey with me. Yeah, I'm here for the journey. And uh, and I you know, have I, no I'm choice because I've already smoked. <laughs> my God, this this is going to be fun. Um, okay. <laughs> Exactly. Uh, Okay, let's talk about something. I didn't realize until this past week that we are, I don't know if you know this, Mark, we're blowing up on TikTok. We're we're TikTok celebs, basically. (laughs) Really? I see. I don't have the talk, but tell me about that. You're just toxic. Um, Well, apparently we're on TikTok. We're killing. Thank you so much. Uh, Sweet. And I'm also not as much on the talk, but I would like to be. And uh, I think my, my hunch is that Bo Butler helped us get some, you know, he's a young person, mm-hmm. I guess. Am I, am I right? I'm trying to look for a nod from Cameron. I don't know if, if I'm really getting I think that. the reason okay. people have attached themselves is your uh, dry-ass hand job that you wanted. When you said, you know, mm-hmm. and I quote, I'm sorry, and I quote, you know what I love more even than a blowjob? A standard middle school movie night hand job. Yes, I don't mind it like a standard youth group hand job. You can talk about middle schoolers and youth groups, but if I say fucking homeless, I'm canceled. First off, but on TikTok, some comments. Our producers sent us some comments of what no, wait, people had to Becca, say you. I, I didn't what? mention middle where? schoolers. Middle schoolers. I, I, I'm saying, it's you know, a like standard in, middle school movie. Let me explain what I meant. What I, expl- I don't think you can. I, oh my God. Is there an antidote for stoneness? Because you're irritating. Okay, maybe listen. it's a hand job. Oh my god, <laughs> the petulance! <laughs> so, like, I meant like when you're in high school, like in in like the 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 innocent school, times, mean? like above the clothes. I like the the making out and the the time period, the era of being in middle school, not hand jobs from middle school. Okay, I, whatever. John likes a period piece, and some people agree. Thank Someone you. said. Can I say their names of the person who said it? Am I allowed? To? Okay, so Troy1191. I mean, it can be more intimate because you can be face-to-face the whole time, kissing, et Thank cetera. You, Troy. If they're downtown, there's less for me to do, lol. I mean, whatever. Demoshi said, I volunteer to change your mind. Harris Uli said, I don't know about dry, but sometimes... And someone else said, honestly, same, but I'm with Lube. Another one, I agree. I love a good handy. No. Why are you hating no. on this concept? You're supposed to be Why sex would you... positive. What is wrong? Like, not all of us like to do, like, banging. That's like saying I like smacking. a lifesaver. I like the taste of a lifesaver as opposed to, like, a gourmet souffle. That is also me, though. Oh, my God. I love what a lifesaver. I, I, okay. Since our last break... We have. That's why um, we're beautiful. Whatever. We're Follow different. us on we TikTok. We have different we are takes. Very, I, well, but the same. You, before we started, you said you're going to have to lead this because I'm stoned. Now let me be the sober one for one second. This is what I wanted to say about as bottom. you as you inhale. Um, I think that it would behoove us to strike while the TikTok iron is hot. People are into it. People are into my. Um, so you agreed to give a hand job on camera. Is that what you're saying? What I was going to propose was that we go live. We start going live from the disc ad pod handle and let people send us badges handle. and icons. I see what you did there. And handle, right. And they could they can interact with us live on TikTok and we can just do this and chat and they can interact with us and it will be beneficial for everybody. We can also go live on our IG. Cameron, make a note. 
that's what I propose that we do. I think it'd be very fun. I like my proposal better, but fine, let's do yours. It's not either or. There's room for all of us. Fine. There's room for hand jobs and whatever sort of ham hock grilling you're trying to do. All right. Well, um, here you hear you bring the youth group. John is ready. I'm also I'm also excited about Play Las Vegas. I will be there. I like some of the things that you've proposed that we do. This is uh, January. Can we 15th. let's say the game? Let's spoil it for our listeners and tell them what's going what your job is going to be during this game. Okay, one well, of the rounds. To, if you've never, if you don't know what Play Las Vegas is, your game show, your interactive porn game show, Play, which we did in New York, you've done for years, we're taking it to Las Vegas. I'm going to be there. You get a bunch of porn stars together and we play games in Vegas. Go. What's one of okay, the Okay, so the game that John's going to play, since he has a beautiful voice, he's going to be singing a song and the porn stars are going to be around playing musical chairs. But instead of chairs, it's going to be dildos on the floor. So when John stops singing, whoever doesn't have a dildo in them is out. I think I'm going to sing em- great time. Em- Empty Chairs at Empty Tables from Les Mis. <laughs> <laughs> now there's a grief that can't be spoken. Keep there's a pain goes on and on you know and then just like i'll hold the karaoke track up on my phone and pause it and so that means they have to descend onto the various poles and like if you don't get it in in time you're out i could not think of anything less miserable yes correct i could <laughs> i'm living it <laughs> um okay lame is um uh, Okay, well, so yeah, I'm, I'm excited for that. Can people get tickets to play Las Vegas? And- I don't know because I'm high, but I believe there is a way to get tickets. It's happening January 15th in Vegas at the, I don't remember, I, at the Hustler Ball. <laughs> That's it, at the Hustler Ball. And it's at the, art. what is it, the Artisanal Cheese Hotel? What the, what the fuck is the name of the hotel that it's at? Do you know? Uh, okay, it's at a hotel that begins with an A. And Aria. I don't. Shut up. No, it's not. Um, so yeah, I don't you get tickets somehow. <laughs> someone follow a link somewhere. Someone post at the Artisan Hotel, post a link. Someone do it. Um well, let's get into some thought topics and maybe shorten this opening segment so she can get No, can get I want to know what you've done. I haven't seen you. Shut up. I, this, I want to chat. I haven't seen oh, you well, forever. You had COVID. You haven't last seen time. you and then you, you got COVID. COVID. You had COVID last time, and so I returned the favor by having COVID. I did you the service of having it while we weren't recording an episode. However, I'm going to confront you on something here. This is like a housewife union. I'm going to confront you right here now, John, live Great. on air. Very much. So brand. you had COVID, and then you went on your other little show called the Andy, what's it called? Andy Cohen Variety Hour Show. And you having COVID said, you know what? I'm going to look for someone who's co for co. I said that to you when I had COVID and you made fun of me. So you want, the, once you have COVID, now you understand. Oh, did I steal your bit? It wasn't a bit. There's no bit. Did you I were th- just interested. You were interested in the things that I was interested, that you made fun of me. You were being a hypocrite. Oh, well, I'm not going to fight you on that. I am a hypocrite. <laughs> I'm also a joke thief. I, I have no material of my you. own. I will Shut steal. Up. I will steal that a joke. That wasn't a I joke. I will steal a bit. I got nothing. Well, okay, wait, speaking of stealing jokes, did you see Don't Look Up? It's like the biggest show in the world on Netflix. Did you see it? It's about the end of the world. I did. And this is what I told my uh, fitness instructor earlier this morning. I think if he you does don't. Have a fitness instructor, look at him. Mm, if you don't like Don't Look Up, I think it means you have no sense of humor. I do not like Don't Look Up. I think it's ridiculous. Isn't that what we're saying? Thank you. And our, ca- our, our producers agreeing with me. It was just one fucking note over and over and over again. We get it. It's the same joke. You couldn't be more clever. I did like the bit with Jennifer Lawrence. Just laugh at it. Who the gives general, a fuck? It's a dumb because movie. Because it's, it's, you're asking too much of me. You're asking almost three hours of the same joke. If it was an SNL skit, hilarious. Very smart. It was so, it was very on the nose, but it was still very funny. I think that the thing that people should look out for is the next end of the world show, that ex- Apple TV extrapolations. My friend worked on it. It's, it's called Extrapolations. Strapped. It's called Extrapolations. It's going to be on Apple TV. It's got Meryl Streep is also in it, Kit Harrington, Tommy McGuire, Carrie Russell, David Schwimmer, Ed Norton. I can say that because that's what's announced. But it's about the end of the world and it's going to be amazing. It's going to be. And Bianca's low. in it? Don't look up. Does she play and the Bianca's meteor? Oh my God, shut up. Let's get into hot topics. <laughs> 
Okay, I am obsessed with this story about the guy who's posing nude together with his dad on OnlyFans and making a fortune. <gasps> what? His name's Jake Herbert, he's 26. I saw some of the photos. His dad's kind of hot, he's hot. They're in the UK, I believe. Um, he was already making OnlyFans content and then he posed with his dad who's just, they're, you know, they're not having sex. They're making 40 grand a month. How does that conversation start? Like, dad, I got a crazy idea. What does your dick look like? <laughs> Let me take a picture with it. How do you start that conversation? Like over a meatloaf or family dinner? Well, they are How'd in the UK, it? so maybe spotted dick. Uh, or maybe like that's, a... That's a good conversation starter. Hey, nice... dad, is your dick spotted? No. Go ahead, keep going. <laughs> Next topic. Uh, the Paps the Blue Ribbon tweet that was uh, having tried January, try eating ass, and then it was deleted. I <laughs> got a little too chaotic. I've been trying okay. to figure out what they're what they were trying to say. I think some kid was like, "Screw dry, dry January." You don't drink, but like, would you ever do a full month without weed? Because I'd like. To um. Drink. Wait. Hold off. They tweeted PBR. The beer company tweeted PBR or ass. What's the difference? And then their reply. Ask your someone mom. said someone said PBR ass. What's the difference? And then PBs replied, "Ask your mom." And then under that. And dad. And dad. So I like them. And then the so company said that, that that in no way does the content of these tweets reflect the values of Pabst. I wish it did, because I would start drinking again if that's how they really are. I mean, I'm not going to, but... Well. PBR should start a line of cream cheese called Pabst Schmier. <laughs> you know, sometimes you don't get a... Don't get... They're not all winners. Uh, Mary on, Cosby is not... light this up again. <laughs> Go ahead. You were talking about Mary Cosby, I believe. She's not returning for the season three reunion of Salt Lake City. She this was a no-show. How pissed do you think no he is show. right now? How pissed? Um, I don't think you get pissed. On a scale right? of one to breaking up with you, how mad is Andy right now that Mary was a no-show? Uh, I, as a, I think... As a producer, I would be furious. He uh, should yeah, be I think furious. But then I think, you, you know, it also sucks if someone's there because then they, then that becomes drama also for, for later. So I don't know if it's like, it might have been sucky in the moment because that's that was the plan. But like moving forward, it can be, uh, you know. But there is no moving forward. Through. She'll be fired. She, there's no chance. You can't skip. Uh -huh. LVP uh -huh. skipped. She left. Adrian right. Malou from Beverly skipped. She left. Jacqueline from New Jersey skipped. Left. You can't skip and stay. It's a skip and a leave. Oh, that's a really nice way to put it. Skip and stay. Yeah, you know, God does what she wants. And since Mary is God, she calls the shots. Don't <laughs> tell true. don't tell God don't tell God what she has to do and anyway, speaking of God, the um, the Pope blasted selfish people, calling people who adopt pets instead of children selfish, saying that people who either don't have kids only have you know, only have one kid instead of having many, um, are selfish and we're in a, a selfish um, society for that okay that how many kids does the pope have how many kids does the pope have well can the can the pope masturbate is well, that allowed asking him to masturbate i'm asking him to procreate and he doesn't have any kids so shut the fuck up do people still believe in the pope like is that like, we're still believing in santa claus what do we think he can do as someone who grew up catholic like and i still i went to church on christmas i'm still a good person i'm still gonna go up there to heavens but what the fuck is a pope like why are we care what he says who's he controlling do people believe him do i, I have mean, to give up my dogs and come in a pussy to be good in his heart like shut up pope take a seat shut up pope. dress there, there you have it shut up pope. <laughs> okay we're gonna wrap this up we're gonna come back with rafael alencar and who else pairs with rafael Tamra Judge. Judge. <laughs> oh my God, we're talking about fear today, so we'll be right back. Smoke more pot, Mark. Just get good and high. Wow, this is a journey. We'll be right back. Maybe. Welcome back to Discretion Advised. We are now joined by the housewife with the biggest balls and the porn star with the biggest dick. Tamara Judge and Raphael Alencar, welcome to Discretion Advice. Hi, guys. Hi. Nice. Thanks for having me. Hello. Uh, thank you for being here. So today, we're talking about fears and what our biggest fears of. But first, what I'm not afraid of, because Tamara has Vina, her CBD line, 
I have decided I'm going to roll this joint and smoke a joint for this episode. Is everyone okay oh with that? My God. Yes. Go for it. Spark it up. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> Let the, the chaos will continue. I yeah. just uh, I, I just told Tamara to look up Raphael's work. Uh, so she's... Uh, she's I just read the this. title and that's all I had to read. You're what was the title? Screen. Um, pornographic film actor. Oh, that's right. Look at the Stop images. Self-explanatory. Oh, I click got the, the images. images. Okay. Yeah. Oh God. Oh God. Okay. Why you Why you figure out oh. how big his dick is? I have some questions for you, Tamara, about your biggest fears. Oh, wait, I'm very busy right now. <laughs> 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 I'm very afraid. I I like the underwear and the cowboy hat, and Not the cowboy underwear. boots. Wow. Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah. Utah. I love pictures from the '90s. <laughs> no, that's Utah three years ago. <laughs> Fuck off. Okay, Tamara. Yes. Were you scared, since we're talking about fears, were mm-hmm. you scared when you threw the wine in Gina's face? Fuck yeah. I was so scared. So let me just tell you, I was so scared. I ran so fast. I went home. I didn't take my makeup off. I put my hair up really nice because I knew I was going to get arrested. So I <laughs> wanted to have a very good mug shot. So I, I, everything was perfect. But Smart. Arrested. Priorities. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Raphael, were you scared when you filmed yourself getting a blowjob on the subways of New York? Uh, yes. There was two homeless watching and they did. It's stop unhoused. Staring. As we described Wait. last week, it's unhoused. It, people experiencing homelessness. Not. Did you guys know that? Okay. Last episode, John schooled me because I said the word homeless. Did you know that we're not allowed to say that word? No. Oh. What are we allowed to say? Nowadays? Exactly. You're supposed exactly. to say People experiencing unhousedness. Homeless. <laughs> Shut up. Or, <laughs> so, homeless. Two watchers, let's oh, say. Two okay, watchers. Exactly. Two okay, watchers. Tamara. Next fear question. Were you scared of Brooks's cancer? Oh, God. <laughs> Kill me. <laughs> um, no, but I'm scared of anybody that's going to lie about that. Because oh, there you go. Do. What? Let's, yeah. What? Okay, Raphael. Are you more scared of falling in love or bottoming on camera? Falling in love? No, bottom on camera. Uh, both, equally. <laughs> Do you oh. think if you bottom, you will fall in love? Uh, I, I don't think it's going to be, I'm going to be ready for bottom. I'm going to open the windows. Not going <laughs> to. <laughs> wait, wait. Do you know Sorry. how to douche? Have you ever? Douched? No, I never. No, no. Nah, I try. It looks just keep coming water, water, water. I don't know how you guys do it. I'm John, very impressive. Look at John's face. <laughs> Sorry, that's I a mean, horrible question. I'm kind question. of in the same boat. I don't douche and I don't bottom. So hold up. Ooh. We Me in either. the very first episode we talked about you bottoming on camera, John. So don't pretend that you don't bottom. That was in 2000. It. Th- it was in 2003, and I was experimenting, and I decided it wasn't for me. Maybe if I would have had some Vena CBD, it would. Yeah. I would be in a different spot. See, and we and discussed that. I would not bring up, I would not bring up you bottoming again, but this is my excuse for today. I can say anything now because... First it's COVID, now it's weed. I've got to deal with all this uh, high maintenance stuff. I'm just kidding. Go for it. <laughs> Keep going. Okay. Okay, Tamara. Were you nervous when Eddie came onto the screen for the first time in that bathtub scene? He's so How high. was, like, were you nervous going into that? Mm, no, he was nervous. That's why he was so drunk. He literally... <laughs> showed up the camera showed up and you know there's like 10 people in the house and he's like i can't do this like he's actually pretty shy and so i said let me introduce you to my friend don julio and he just started doing shots and then the, pro- the producer started doing shots with him no yes oh, wow. and so then they sent me upstairs they're like oh we brought bubbles in case you want to do a bubble bath right yes. so i'm like yeah oh, sure they literally uh, bought me like Dawn soap. It wouldn't even bubble. And then and then he goes in and he's like, okay, fuck it. I guess I'm going to do it. So Were you guys naked naked in real life? Yeah. He's like, he always jokes. He like bent over in front of the camera guy who happened to be gay. Wow, and, that's good. And, and he's like, I think I just left skid marks on the camera. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so you guys were naked naked. Does He's got a big one, huh? He looks like he has a big one. I will never tell. See, she's classy. (laughs) She is classy, and she's my favorite housewife. Sorry, I don't want to fan over you right now. Okay, one last question for you. Are you scared of sky tops? Would you wear a sky top now? Fuck yeah, I would. (laughs) Do you have any still? No, I don't. Oh my God, you know how much money you could make on selling those? I know. know, Fuck, you should have kept them. I know. (laughs) Do you still have one? Does does cunt fitness still exist? Did you just call it cunt? Yeah. (laughs) Cunt fitness? (laughs) 
Cut <laughs> Fitness. Yes, we've had go. it nine years. Okay. I got to go down nine there years. and do a... Yes, Can we so come so there and film a scene? I want to go to Cut Fitness and film. It doesn't have to be the sex part of our movie, but it could be like maybe the story part. Absolutely. You can do whatever I, you want. It's such a beautiful gym. I mean, from what yeah. we saw it on is. TV, it's gigantic. It's, nice. it's gorgeous. It's like, it's a, just like Eddie's dick. Yeah, It's a boutique <laughs> gym, but it's like 7,000 square feet. It's great. 7,000? Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. big. Wow. It's nice. That's big. It's that's like the size of Raphael's ass. <laughs> Almost, yeah. <laughs> Have you seen Raphael? Raphael's at stand up just really quick and show Tamara. Just the, oh, oh, my God. Just they the said he just stopped. I'm naked. Fuck, I'm naked because they said. Is it okay? Okay. Are like you, really you are upstairs sitting at my house naked. Oh, come oh, on. Oh, you know. really Wait, look at how <laughs> like huge this. that ass is. That's Wait, is that... okay, Oh, that's it's on camera. camera. They're going to cut, right? No, no. we're not. No, I'm not okay, so I'm right now. to see what we're talking about. <laughs> now I'm going to have to clean that snail trail off my bench. <laughs> okay, <No>. sorry. <laughs> what you just said, so sorry. Oh. You said... You said I, I just had to dress it from top to, from here to because you it's, just, it's okay. snowing in New York City. Did you walk this over is, here with no pants? This is why we're I, popular yeah. on TikTok because of the visuals that you're. Yeah, that Raphael I just can flashed. imagine. Wow. So, Raphael, are you just naked all the time? Most of the time, yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. I sleep naked. I wake up naked. I, I live by myself, so unless I put my clothes when <laughs> someone comes to talk to me, but I take right away. Yes. Oh, you do? Yeah, I, like five minutes, they they, they start taking. Okay. All right. Usually, yeah. Well, <laughs> Tamara, you're very good looking in, you. on camera, out of camera. A beer for oh my God. It's a you're pleasure. So sweet. Beer. A little connection here. <laughs> I feel like. Let's, let's awkward. connect three of them. Wait, and you did an article in 2015 where you said you have filmed yourself having sex, Tamara, including in the jungles of Panama. Do you have any tips for Rafael to get into the industry? Oh, my God. <laughs> I mean, jungle fucking is pretty difficult because you got to walk out for walk out for all those like um, there's like d dangerous, toxic frogs in the jungle. Like, red oh, frogs right. that bite you. Bite right, your the ass, type of you're done. Yeah, the, yeah, yeah. No, just be wow. very careful of your surroundings. <laughs> toxic snakes, toxic porn stars. Okay, yeah. speaking of being careful of your surroundings. You are, and I will, you are definitely the star of, it's not even out yet, but Ultima Girls Trip season two. We know you're going to be the star because you're fucking Tamara Judge. <laughs> Who were you most, okay, the cast is Jill Zarin, Dorinda, Taylor yeah. Armstrong, Brandon Glanville, Phaedra Parks, Eva, Vicky. Who were you most scared of like before filming started? Like you're like, oh fuck, this cunt's going to be a problem. Uh, Brandy. <laughs> really? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Have we, you met we, before? Well, we had met before. We had gone out. Um, everything was fine, but we got into a Twitter war, and mm. she called me a sociopath and oh. all kinds of names. And she did a podcast about me, and so we just went back and forth. I had said in the press that Kelly Dodd was the new Brandy, which I'm just basically. <laughs> I mean, I'm not lying. I'm basically that's saying true. That she is like, and I didn't. I honestly didn't think it was a bad thing. I just kind of thought like. You know, she has no filter. She says whatever. She she goes for blood. There's a lot of housewives like that. Uh, whatever, as long as I don't have to work with them. But that's all I meant. And it just went into this huge, like, toxic Twitter war. So when I went on the trip, I'm like, oh, God, I don't want to see her. But I hadn't been on TV in a year and a half. So I wasn't used to the fighting, the arguing, all that. But we we didn't hit it off at first. We argued for a few days. There was a lot of fuck yous. And then she fell in love with me. How could you know? There's a lot of fuck yous. Oh my there was God, there was I can't a lot wait. Of fuck you. A lot of fuck yous and there was lap dancing. Who on the cast, other than Brandy, were there anyone else that you didn't get along with that just wasn't like, I don't want to, I would never hang out with you again? No, really there wasn't. I really enjoyed everybody. I didn't know too many of them um, very well, just from like, you know, going to Bravo shit. But um, Dorenda, I was pretty close to. But I did see a different side of Dorenda when we filmed. Oh, no. Good bad side or, or bad side? It was a different side. Different <laughs> side. It was a different Not side. a different side. Yeah. Oh, shit. The multifaceted yeah. Dorenda Medley. Oh, my God. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm excited about that. All right. So we, you guys are both 
I mean, whether you want to accept it or not, you're both icons in your industry. You both changed the game. You both literally changed the game. There was no Housewives as we know it today before Tamara. You made it what it is. Well, I read that you. Diamonds and Rosé book. It should just be called the Tamara book. Like they you started off it. that book thank off and you. you you did it. And then Raphael, you've really made porn movies what they are today. Like you, you are such a good sexual actor. Not great with the script, but... <laughs> How did, like, going in there and changing the game, how did that, what were you fearful of in that, since we're talking about fear? Like, what was your biggest obstacle going in and just being like, I'm about to change the game? Me or her? Me? me. You. You can go. You. Me? Oh, Fuck it. John, go. John, no. go. Well, I'll Raphael, speak Raphael, Raphael, go, go, you go. Know, go. I was fearless <laughs> of nothing. Nothing. I didn't care. Like, I came on that show. I had watched it. Um, it was out two years prior, and got on there, didn't even think I was going to get on there, wasn't even really trying that hard. I just filled out an application online and the rest is history, but I just really didn't give a shit. And my mouth, I said whatever I felt. And all of a sudden the girls are like, that's not how we film. That's not how we do things. This is a family show. I'm like, yeah, right. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm going to change things. I didn't even really know I was changing things. I was just being me. That's it. Is that an ice cream truck? Who is that? Who is that? Who is who has that ringtone? <laughs> As she reaches into her phone. It's not. How mine. about you, Raphael? Yeah. What did you? What were you afraid of going in, or what did you think your biggest hurdle was? Going inside who? I mean, Everybody. What was the question? <laughs> Sorry, what was the question? Never mind. You got it. You oh. answered it correctly. Who were you? Who were you most afraid of going inside of? How about that? <laughs> who? Which Ooh. celebrity were you most afraid of going inside? No. Of? No more celebrities. We we talk about that. I, I can only talk about the dead ones. Hey, wait, hold on, Rafael. Okay, yeah, so let's yeah. talk about the dead ones. You said you let's, fucked Patrick Swayze. No. Is that true or not? <laughs> no, stop it. I'm getting so many messages about them, about gay th- people who knew him, and they are sending a lot of messages to me. Mean messages? Actually not. Actually, they want to get together <laughs> with me, actually. That's okay. Me. What about John Patrick's- Travolta? <laughs> I, I I cannot say names if they're just blink, alive. Just blink hard if it's a yes. Rhyme with it. Are they alive? Shmom shmruz. No, if they're alive, I can't speak. They're going to go after me. Oh, hey, wait, Ron, 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 Ron Revolta. You, do they make you sign an NDA if you have sex with a celebrity? Usually uh, they uh, want to contact me, not the person. When I go to, to meet. I mean, so like, they have a example, sex handler? Yes, exactly. A oh, a sex handler. Yeah. I'd be sex so handler. good at that job. I'd be good at that job. Sex handler. Okay. I want so that I job. Go, yeah. I go trying to meet uh, Peter, and when I get there, it's Peter Pan. I mean, it's somebody else. Ooh. Oh, okay. So I pretend that I don't know them. I mean, okay. So you don't know that it was, you didn't know that it was uh, Ron Ruse until you got into the house and it was him? Yes, guys. I don't know people's house. I've never been to those people's house before. To the Scientology, work- Scientology Celebrity Center? You didn't recognize it when you pulled up? <laughs> no, I recognize many celebrities, like the, the housewife. I, I recognize, of <laughs> course, because they're gorgeous. Have you ever slept with a housewife? <sighs> I die for, oh my God, I want to, um, eventually. Uh-huh. I'll take my time. Right? <laughs> Which one? Here's your yeah. shot. I, for the ones that I, I know. The right? dead ones? <laughs> No, the one that I've been talking. <laughs> I want to start for the ones that I do Zoom first. I want to start with that. Oh, okay. Uh, okay, there's, there we go. We're going to have... <laughs> no. I can't. Okay, let's get you off the hook, Raphael. Tamara. What? Your probably most famous line, that's my opinion. Yeah. So I just want to get some opinions on some uh, things that are happening right now. Okay. Megan King Edmonds, three-day marriage. It wasn't three days. <laughs> I actually just talked to Edmund. Uh, Edmund. I just I talked like to Megan. And um, well, I don't think it's ever a good idea to marry somebody that you just met. And I mean, look how it turned out for her. So she's she's very, she was sad about it. It wasn't her mm-hmm. decision. So that sucks. Uh, what about Vicky and Steve? And now he's already engaged. I was warned not to talk about him again. Oh, let's not. Let's not. I don't think we ever need to bring that name up again. By By him? him? 
Yes, not the not the senator. Yes, he, he <laughs> sent me a text message yesterday to say a not to talk about him. Yeah, a gag no. order. A Raphael gag, knows I'm, about I'm, gag orders. I gagged or- <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Good this job. season of, of of OC, whose side are you on, Shannon or Heather? Um, probably the unpopular side, and that is going to be Heather, just because I know Shannon all too well. And mm. when you try to set somebody up and then act like your hands are clean. I don't like that type of housewife at all. And I mean, let's not forget, she called Emily and said, you're an attorney. You need to dig deep on this. Like, and then she turns around and said, it's not my intent. It's not, I just, she put the players in place and then took no responsibility. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it was kind of a, it was kind of a um, cruel thing to do is go after somebody's business. I don't, Mm. I don't like that. Okay. Last one. Noella versus Jennifer. Whose side? Oh my God. Um, I'm going to go with Jennifer. <gasps> I mean, I, I get. <laughs> I am shocked. What, I get. I won't. Win, I wouldn't want to be tagged in somebody's business. Yeah. Weird. When I'm not using you, like you're obviously using my name. Um, although Noelle is not that big of a name. So get over yourself, bitch. Like, Boom. Right? <laughs> Tell it, yes. Right, and and I but just I think you two would be so hot together. I, I want better. to see you guys on a season. You and Noella, I think, would be like you would rule the OC. Um, well, I would love to go on with Noella. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I saw her on Andy's show. He didn't seem like he was having it. Did you oh, guys he didn't watch? Like her? No, no, he doesn't like her. I mean, you guys know when Andy doesn't like somebody, he's just kind of like, oh, okay, next question, next question. All right, fuck it. Speaking of gag order, it is game time. You guys ready to play Fear Fucker? I'm going to ask you eight questions that have to do with love and sex, and you're going to choose which one you'd rather do. Are you ready? John, you're playing this game too, so. Yes. Which one we would get, rather I'm gonna do? I'm going to go point this, put this joint out real quick so I can be real serious. Okay. <laughs> now that it's hit you, Probably. you're going to be real serious? <laughs> yeah. You like that? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Question number one. Would you rather accidentally send nudes to your parents or receive the nudes from your parents. Oh, <laughs> send That's it. Easy. Send. send it. Send it. Send it. Please. Yeah. Please. Okay. Like they've yeah. seen. They've seen this, but I've not never as seen an adult. That. Not lately. D- doesn't. I don't need to see <laughs> that ever. But they. They saw this at one point. Yeah. Now my parents are in their seventies. I nobody wants to see that shit. No, I wouldn't. Send mind. it. Yeah. Okay. Would you rather? <laughs> Never masturbate again or never have sex again. Never have sex again. I'd rather never have sex again. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like you'd probably choose that regardless. <laughs> no, never yeah. masturbate again. Okay. Yeah, I re- tie break. I'm gonna go with the masturbate since I'm married. Great, me too, yeah. Yeah, yeah <laughs> never, never. It's easy to go without masturbating. Yeah, well, not for John, I guess. But is it? <laughs> I don't masturbate. TMI. What? I don't. And Raphael, you don't. You, a, that's lose of, that's loss why? of money for Raphael. That's wasting money. You're right. It's wasting load. Come, I can't. There's always a someone available to fuck. Come on. Why should I jerk off? <laughs> the phone is ringing right now while I'm talking to you guys. Don't bring anybody into my house to fuck. You're upstairs. No. <laughs> okay. N- next question. Would you rather be the dom or submissive in the bedroom? Submissive. Dom. dom. Two Ooh, doms and a guys. sub. Oh, <laughs> Let's film this. Okay. Would you rather have a loveless marriage or a sexless marriage? Sexless. Sex. Sexless. Oh my God. All cold hearts here. <sighs> yeah, I think I'm on. Uh, yeah, I agree. Isn't I agree. that marriage though? It's That's marriage. True. That's the only relationships <laughs> I've ever had. Would you rather have a partner with a little dick or a flat ass? Little dick. Little dick, yeah. (laughs) There are many little dicks out there. Come on. But a flat ass. Many dicks need love, too. All right, so, wait, so you're choosing you want the little dick and a big ass? No, I want the no ass and the big dick. (laughs) (laughs) All right, two more questions. Would you rather, oh, no. Okay, I'm just going to, you know, I'm going to ask it. Would you rather have sex with Vicky or Kelly for Tamara? And would you rather have sex with John Travolta or Tom Cruise for the guys? Oh my God. <laughs> Again. Can I just allegedly. Leave? Allegedly. <laughs> Very. No. Kelly Dodd. You choose Kelly? Yeah. yeah. Vicky's like my sister, so that'd be just weird. And Kelly, I just feel like she'd be wild. Yeah. Would you want to be Dom or Sub with her? 
probably sub. I can see her just dominating. Strapping it on. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, boys. Tom or John? Tom. Uh, uh, John, you know, he's public because he did bad things to the guys who he used to hire. You know that, right? What do you Google. mean he did bad things? What do you mean? He never, he I heard he never know paid. It's I heard that and John I Travolta get... didn't pay the guys he hired. Yeah, he didn't pay one. So you're, one you have an hotel. outstanding invoice. No, He's many friends of mine he didn't pay. He didn't pay over 100 people. And he got in <laughs> trouble for that. Okay, for... let's not get you in any trouble anymore. Oh, My last yeah. question. No, please don't. I would, I would choose Tom Cruise because he know... has all the, all the new um, fillers in his cheeks. And I feel like yeah. that would be good. Tom Cruise. Yeah. You know his wife knows about it, right? Wait, Tom's knows about I don't, it? I don't know that. The wife <laughs> knows about it. Him. Well, the, neither the, one are married. Isn't Tom No, the, the no, one that wait, divorced no. the brunette, the, the oh, dark God. Yeah, she, she knew about it. <laughs> she knew that you had sex with him. No, oh not that. Uh, no, no. But this sounds like a big lawsuit. Yeah. Yes. Let's move on. Let's move on. We're not. We're not talking about Tom Cruise. We're talking about Jim Bellino. Nope. I just got out of that lawsuit. I just got out. I said it. I said it. Me, Mark, not Tamara. Okay. Okay. Last question. Would you rather spit or swallow? Depends on how drunk I am. Uh, Like three drinks in. I might swallow. (laughs) Three drinks in. Yeah. Especially if it's tequila. Okay. Wash it down, John and Raphael. Yes or Swallow. no? Spit. There's <laughs> <laughs> just double taste. When you spit, you taste it again. Come on, just yeah. bah, Right? No. Like Tamara said. Swallow. Oh my God. Okay, I need to go. I need to go spit this out. Thank you so much, Tamara and <laughs> Raphael, you. for being here. I love you guys so much, and there's not many people I could say that to. So thank you so much for being here. Make sure you follow them, watch them. Watch Raphael on NakedSwordFalcon.com. Watch Tamara in the upcoming season of Ultimate Girls Trip. Go to Vina. Go to Cut Fitness. Thank you guys so much. We'll be right back. Two T's in a pod. Two T's in a Two pod. Two T's in a pod. Check it yeah, out. Yeah, got to watch it. I mean, we don't talk about this shit, but I think we should. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to Discretion Advised. I'm John Hill here with the very stoned Mark McNamara. This has been a great show. I was afraid just to bring We're recording to f- this. This is what happens, folks, when you take drugs. You don't know where you are. You don't know what you're doing. Case in point, learn it from uh, listening to Mark right now. He's high as fuck. And okay. uh, but you know what? This, this is the teach. thing. If you're if you're gonna get gonna get fucked up on drugs. Use don't device, don't say so. drugs. You're acting like and I'm doing like something. I have never tried okay. anything Listen. but weed. I've never done coke. I've never mm-hmm. done whatever else you could do. I've never once tried in it. Just weed. So calm down on your drugs, homeless man. The fact of the matter is you took drugs at work just now. <laughs> so I don't know why you want to re-couch uh, the narrative here, but you took drugs on camera. It's mm-hmm. on record. Because um, I'm not afraid. This is a fear episode and I'm not it's afraid. It's legal. You know what? Everything is legal. a drug too. It's exactly what I'm saying. Everything, you know, if it's legal, whatever, I'm supporting you. What I'm saying is have a friend with you, the buddy system. I'm here to support you and, and, and I got you, baby. I got Shut you. Shut up. I got you. <laughs> Let's go into order of the penis before I put this joint out on okay. your forehead. We're going to... <laughs> We're going to wrap it up. Our three biggest fears. We've been talking about fears. And uh, here are ours for our Order of the Penis this week. Okay, top three biggest fears. I'll start. This is the first on my list. And I didn't even plan it this way. But as you can see, I'm holding this little baby. My first one is my dog dying. Close your ears. Don't listen. That's my oh. biggest fear. Can you that imagine? Is, I mean, can no, I no, no. I, we, it's I my biggest dog, one. Huh? Look at couldn't this. Couldn't imagine little, that. What are you going to do after? Gonna are you going to get another you're one? going to die. That's a yeah. dog? This is my. See, you know how you have a little ferret named Heather? This is mine. Sheila. That, that's a ferret? <laughs> yeah, see? Oh, that's very cute. She's it's actually a cute. hybrid. This is a hybrid of a, a chihuahua and a ferret, and also a little, <laughs> little weasel. Oh, okay, that back. is cute. Okay, so Bye. my first fear, something that I'm scared of, I'm scared of high fives. Like, I, you will never catch me giving anyone a high five. I find it terrifying. Like, the chances of you missing that hand, it's, it's one of my irrational fears. I, you will never, I will never give you a high five. Or a fist bump is, like, secondary. But a high fives are terrifying to me. Very, very anxiety-inducing. I'm with you on that. I have never actually made contact. I've always missed them. And also straight guys, like, you know, growing up, 
they don't when they do the thing where they psych you out and they're like hey and like touch the side of their hair that always made me feel equally as bullied as if or like if someone were to like punch me in the face it's really upsetting i get you, you. really understand my fear because everyone else yeah. always makes fun of it i thank you no. for that john thank you for being here for me today safe space babe okay what's your yeah. next one Oh, uh, packaging. You're not going to believe me, but I have a fear against packaging. Like when you're opening uh, a hard plastic, you know, like say you buy uh, like um, scissors and you need scissors to get the scissors out of the hard plastic where there's like that seam around. And if you're cutting it open, you can slice your fingers because it becomes as sharp as a dagger. Um, when I open a box, there's peanuts in there, or even worse, there's the balls, the little mini pebbles. I think of the turtles dying, and not even, I don't even care about the turtles. Fuck the turtles. It's more like, how am I going to clean that up? Or like, I'm going to have to hire a task rep to come suck that up. Or Raphael, suck it up through his ass. So when I sent that uh, loose cans from Amazon, was that fine because home, there was no packaging? Home run. Thank you. Finally. That, okay. I did something right. Yeah. You do everything right. But yeah, I opened that up and I was like, all I, you, the goods, they were dented and, and destroyed, but they were but not, not triggering sheathed in my greatest fear. Okay. What's your second one? Um, very similar to yours. Sharks. I am scared to death of sharks. Um, I have been swimming with them probably 10 plus times, sometimes not on purpose to try to get over this fear. I'm just obsessed with them. I think that's how I will die is by a shark attack. I used to live in Miami right on the beach on the 37th floor. So I have videos of them just like coming up and not biting people, but they could have. I, I want to put those on the Instagram, these videos of these sharks coming. So check us out on Instagram at Discadpod. These sharks come right up to people. They're everywhere. I see sharks every day. People don't realize how many sharks are in Miami and they're all going to kill you. Okay, John, next. Uh, my next one is... Dying in a dumb way. I'm not afraid of dying. I'll die. Fine. I'll do it. Go for but it. I can't I'll be die. dumb. I don't want to dumb die. I don't want to die dumb. I mean, I will die dumb because we know yeah, I'm dumb. But I don't want to die in a dumb fashion. Right. You know, Tell me like a I dumb fashion. Like if I'm taking out the trash and I bump into a tree or I stumble and stub my toe and a staph infection goes into my aneurysm brain or some shit, you know, like I, I want to die. Oh, like it, even if I get a horrible disease, it'll be like, oh, I'm so brave. I know I have this disease. Bye. And like wrap up all my loose ends. But if you're just like you, like you slip on some like spilt almond milk at Target and you hit your head or like, you know. You, you kiss your dog in the mouth like I do before he dies. Um, and you get some sort of like weird listeria. And I'm the high one? <laughs> do you not follow what I'm saying? Like, do you, I want to die I in do, a noble I way. I do, I do. I understand what you're saying and I agree with you. But now, I mean, I don't want to be morbid or wish, wish death upon you. But now I'm really curious to see how you're going to die. So I could be like, that was dumb. <laughs> like, what if I died in the middle of this podcast? It would be That wouldn't so be dumb. Not dumb. Not okay. dumb. So that would be fine. Okay, my last fear is of heights. Even though I'm very high, I am scared of heights. Like, I've been bungee jumping twice to try to get over this. I have went up to go skydiving. I have went up to go skydiving. I have went up to go skydiving. Have you went up? (laughs) Have you went up, yes or no? I have went up. I went up and I like heights. Wait, did you jump? I skydived, yeah. Okay, see, my guy, as we were going up told me that he was epileptic and what to do in case he had a a wiggle fit. And so I said, no, I'm taking this plane back down. If you have one of your goddamn wiggle fits on the way down, I'm not going to know what to do. So I rode that plane right back down. So still scared of heights. I don't know about that phrase you hear you use to describe a grandma. Are you serious? You can't call a seizure a wiggle fit. I really I wouldn't if I were you. Why not? That's what they're doing. They're wiggling and they're having a fucking fit. What what can I say? What if a homeless guy had a wiggle fit? Can you imagine? I'd be canceled immediately. I'm just going to have to walk by them now and not try to save them because John doesn't want me to get involved with any homeless person having a seizure. I'm not saying that when I go off of this podcast, I'm not going to literally say the term WF 10 times. I'm just saying while we're recording, I don't usually like to say the things that are going to get you in trouble. Like, 
But a seizure is a medical condition. Anyway, what what if you made a goofy phrase for a heart attack? Would you be canceled if I said you had a a, a fucking I don't know a heart fart and called that a heart attack? That would be ridiculous to be canceled over making a silly name for a medical condition. It's not like there is a group of people who are the seizures who are making fun of the seizures. It's a it's shut up. We'll be right back. <laughs> shut up. We'll be right back. We have Rachel Harris coming up from Lucifer. She has some questions for us. And God forbid she has a goddamn wiggle fit while we're recording. (laughs) Welcome back to Discussion Advised. I'm John Hill here with Mark McNamara. We've had quite the show just to keep everyone up to catch everyone up to speed. Mark is uh, increasingly stoned on drugs at work. Stop Uh, saying on drugs. But we... (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> um, and we're here with one of my favorite people, one of my best friends of all time, who we uh, don't see each other in person, but we text every day, Rachel Harris. <laughs> Hi, guys. Hi. Hi, everybody. Well, I am fascinated, Mark, by what you, that you're a director and that you're directing gay porn. It's so, it's, I think it's, um, at the end of the day, it's the same as directing um you know, gone with the wind. It's just exactly. it's all about lighting you don't and think angles. That they came in that movie. That's true. Right. No, it's sure. very much. It's exactly. very much like Gone with the Wind. It's subtly racist. Yes. It's oh, uh, yes. an epic. Mark is very prolific. That's in, uh, interesting. He's, uh, yeah, he knows. He knows what he's doing. So, do you yeah, have any no. questions for like what? What? Are, what's your biggest question about? Have you ever um, been on a porn set? Oh, good. I've never been on a porn set. Would you? Um, like but to? I know like another. To? Well, uh, um. Yeah, I would. I actually would. I would okay. love to. I think I've, that John's be been on my set before. And you know what? Grab her when you come to play Las Vegas, John. Okay. January 15th in Vegas. Grab oh. Rachel. Let's let's do this on stage. Let's show what's about. John, John, do you think that I would I would enjoy it? I think you'd be fascinated and I feel yes. like you would well, you'd be great in in an acting role. Um yeah. and uh, I'm sure oh, I would you, love to play friend. somebody's like aunt. Or a therapist. <laughs> would you? Yes. Yeah, or something. Therapist. I mean, like, therapist. that would be amazing. That'd be amazing, right? I don't know. Yeah. Well, we have to run it by my reps, but we'll see. We'll see. I don't know. It may not I'll, be on I'll give, a, I'll give a nice, I'll give an ask. I'll, I'll ask. <laughs> we'll put you and John in a scene together. I now, was going to be in one of your movies, and then when it came down to it, it's like, okay, but you're going to play a gay uh, Reformation Christian who's trying to change young kids to being straight. Never, you're you going to push no someone ever, down a staircase. You're going to punch a kid and push him down a that staircase. I was like, I'm going to have to pass. Oh, my God. <laughs> this is not true. That is not, first of, that's not what John said, and no one actually has ever known this. John was supposed to be in A Murdered Heart, which won all the fucking awards, so boo for you, John. But I stepped in <laughs> because there was no other extras, and I slapped the shit out of Ty Mitchell, which John Hill was supposed to do. But that day he's like, I can't, I lost a button on my cardigan. And so he didn't show up because he said he like busted a button on his flannel or something. Okay. Shit. This is what I want to know, Mark. I want to know, <laughs> have you ever, while you were shooting yeah. something, ever gotten so aroused that you're like, I've got to go, I'm going to fuck someone right here, like on set while they're fucking. You know, what's weird. And I don't think that people are going to believe my answer, but as I don't really have a reason to not tell the truth here. No, it is so. First off, I'm looking through a lens, like I'm looking through a screen. Mm-hmm. So well, that that's why I'm saying it's just like bit. it's the same thing as when you're doing like a love scene, like a a straight right, a straight director's watching a straight yeah. couple have sex. He's they watching don't need to on jerk a screen, off. Like right? If he was watching. If I was sitting there watching it in person, it would yeah. still probably be a no, just because of who we work with. But. I it's like it's not <laughs> real and it's so staged like every single position is staged they're yeah. acting no I don't want to ruin porn for anyone anyone it's it's true love and lust but <laughs> Indiana, Indiana Jones is not really running from that large fucking rock it's all staged and rehearsed and so it's not what you're watching I did want to ask more questions though about um about like do people that does anybody ever marry like, do porn Mark actors ever get together and was get one married? Of his stars. Mark was dating one of his porn stars for a long time. Diego okay, Sanz. First off, he's not one of my porn stars. He's whoever's porn star he wants to be. But we had met each other before we knew each other got into porn. So we had had established yeah. 
uh, connection. And then we worked together for two years until something happened. We were on vacation, we were shooting, whatever. It, feelings were confessed. And then, I, what are we talking about? I'm high. Can I ask the obvious, though? <laughs> Can I ask the obvious thing, which is like, so your boyfriends and mm-hmm. you're shooting him, filming him, you go to work, and, and the job is to watch someone else have sex with him. Isn't that a little weird? I think that it's a t- tricky area. To like see that your lover is having sex with sex with someone. Well, it's not because if you're like Will Smith is not going to work and really battling aliens. It's again part of the issue that it's yeah. not really happening. You're acting. These are just body parts. So whether right. someone's going to go punch somebody in the face that day or punch someone's butthole, you're really still just doing something with a body <laughs> part. And right, but, got, but are people are but leave. there's still bodily fluids involved. Involved, it's right? Like people it's, still cut. What if you spit on someone? You had to spit on someone in this scene. See, Rachel, Mark is what we call depraved. <laughs> yeah, it's great. Depraved. depraved. No, but okay. So there are also things. That great you, bone you structure, by the way, Mark. Other. You have to. Mm. Oh, thank you. It's implants. Um, oh. You guys have to just. It's not. <laughs> I was going to say, you look gorgeous. <laughs> There are discussions that you have as a couple, like a mature discussions, like, and there are some things that you do off camera that are not done on camera. And those things are left special for the relationship. Oh, that's and sweet. you just had to not be, I'm not a jealous person in general. So that to yeah. me, watching someone go to work, is, it wasn't a sexual experience that I thought he was having. Seems healthy, yeah. actually. I feel like that's a good, we should all be more like Mark, well, meaning stoned. Thank you. Thank you, distinct yeah. panel of judges. Rachel, we have to wrap up, but we love you so much. Okay. Please come back, and uh, we love you. And and don't be afraid. That's a, the theme of our episode: is, is be fearless and send okay, some great. DMs later. Okay, love you. Well. <laughs> I love you love guys. You. Thank you so much. All right, bye, bubs. Okay, Mark, this has been so fun. I've loved everyone on this show, and it has been quite the journey. To I feel like I've been on the ro- the front of the roller coaster with my arms up. Wind in my hair, your pot smoke in my hair, whatever this is called. Oh. What's that called? A contact tie. I feel like I've been given a contact tie, but the amount of drugs you've done at work. Okay. But thank you, everybody, for li- How do you feel right now, by the way? Scale of one to Whoopi Goldberg. <laughs> Lasagna. I don't know. I feel great. I feel like Whoopi Goldberg. I feel I am Whoopi Goldberg. And you, you are in trouble. Stoned. Okay. Uh, thank you so much for listening. And don't forget to follow up on all the socials. We're at Disc Ad Pod on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. Hey to all you TikTokers. D I S C A D P O D. And if you have any questions for us, email them to ask at discadpod.com. Make sure to subscribe on your favorite podcast platform and rate us five stars on Apple Podcasts. And watch the full podcast and sign up for our newsletter at discadpod.com. That's D I S C A D P O D. Com. You are good at that. And you did that all from memory. Good for you. <laughs> bye, guys. Girl, bye.